Good morning friends, Diana here from Garden Love. Today I'm walking around my property because it rained last it rained yesterday and last night and today we had a heavy frost so I really wanted to walk around to see if any of my trees were affected by this frost including my little coddle there. But this video is going to be about my Eureka Lemon. My Eureka Lemon is a variegated lemon with the pink flesh. So basically the outside has green and yellow stripes and the inside of it is actually pink and it's called pink lemonade lemon i have other videos of the fruit where i tasted it i opened it and i harvest for you so if you guys want to go back and see those videos they're available on my channel but i want to show you guys how this tree is doing it's been here almost a year and a half um it didn't get a good start mainly because it wasn't getting enough water i added more irrigation lines with a heavier drip um little piece so it started to get more water i also did a trench here so i added um, mulch there so it could start breaking down and feeding it and when it rains there's a little reservoir there um, retaining the water so it could seep down and deep into the ground and it can get to the roots because sometimes this soil is so dry and hard that it actually doesn't absorb the rain which is pretty sad so to prevent that I did a little trench here so when it rains the water goes into there it's gonna sit there like a reservoir and eventually seep into the soil so this tree can actually get some of that goodness rainwater as you guys can see it is doing amazing now that i added more um drip drip systems and i added the trench if um, we ever get a drought or something is happening where we are getting heat waves i'm going to come here and give them a little bit of water here so it goes directly into the roots it is doing amazing as you can see even through this coldness it's getting new leaves um, oh my god and it's even even getting flower buds so i'm super excited i think next year i'll be able to harvest some maybe one or two fruits from here and i'll be able to show you guys again what the fruit looks like um i feel that since i started growing fruit trees in the ground versus containers which is what i mainly used to do that it um, the growing process for these trees are actually slower in the ground than it is in a container and for several reasons. One is because the soil is harder for the roots to grow through because we have a lot of rocks and clay in the soil and also because obviously it's in the middle of the sun so it's harder for the um the tree to get shade like usually when you have it in a container you can move it around you give it more water and the soil is like ideal because you're providing the perfect soil for it in this area when you're growing in the ground the soil is not ideal so the tree has to get acclimated to the soil so that's going to take some time for the tree to actually acclimate to its new environment also like i mentioned the heat and um, the frost and its new growing conditions so when you're growing a tree and you see a tree not growing as fast as it used to be um, just remember give it some time be patient with it don't get discouraged it will eventually grow as this one is showing it's been a year and a half and it's finally starting to show more signs of new growth and it's starting to look fuller and it's definitely going to produce fruit very very soon well i just wanted to give you guys an update on my pink eureka lemonade because i haven't been giving you guys many updates and i think you guys well deserve these updates that um you guys want to see because i personally love to see trees growing at all stages so this is maybe about a three to four year old tree and it's been in the ground for about a year and a half so just to give you some perspective it's probably about three feet tall and about two feet wide so hopefully that information is helpful thank you for watching this video if you have any questions or comments leave it leave it down below and like i said in my previous video if you guys have any suggestions on what citrus or fruit trees i should add to my orchard please let me know because i'm going to be starting a new row there um like always i hope you guys have a blessed day i'll see you in the next one bye